Nighthawk Gold in the news today. That's NHK on the Toronto Stock Exchange, MIMZF and the OTCQX in the States. They report some more intersects down the news. Dr. Michael Byron, the CEO. Doc, appreciate the time here. Looks like you got a four holes or so to report. Why don't you run through the highlights for investors? Today we had a, a news release of just uh, four holes, about uh, you know 2,500 meters, um, touching Colmac, a number of the zones, three of the zones, but one hole in particular we wanted to highlight because it really delivered uh, a number of, uh, of no, a number of priority uh, pieces of information. Uh, um, it was hole C2006 drilled in the north end of, of zone two, uh, which is roughly about halfway along the, the uh, length of the Colmax Sill. But uh, we, uh, we intersected the largest uh, continuous downhole mineralization uh, um, a package of, uh, of, you know, that was about 280 meters. Um, and of that, which is huge, we've never had anything that big. So really it speaks to the, the potential uh, and the sheer amount of, of rock that's mineralized that's hosted by the Colmax Sill, right? And, and this is kind of where we're going, that this, these types of deposits have the potential to host tremendous amount of ounces. Um, of that 280 meters, uh, our highlights were, you know, 252 meters or 150 meter true width of 1.84 grams and 200 meters of, of little over two grams. And then some sub intervals of, you know, nine, almost nine and three quarter meters of uh, seven grams and five and a half meters of 11. So there's a lot of sub intervals inside that, that large uh, intercept of 252 meters composite. So, you know, you can't put them all in a news release, but I think we're just flavoring it up there to see that, yeah, it's a big massive wad of mineralization with a lot of highlights in, in internally um, in that system. And it's all continuous mineralization for that 150 meter true width. So that was a big takeaway from that. But the other, the other thing too, is, is the whole reason I laid out that hole was to, we were talked in previous releases about this zone 1.5 zone two panel of mineralization. Why is that important? Well, it's the most drilled area that we've done. It contains the, the higher grade zone 1.5. Um, it's the first area that we drilled to depth where we could see that the, that the mineralized component of the sill or the ore body tripled in width to depth. And uh, we hadn't, uh, we thought there was potential to grow it to the south. And, and prior to this hole, we were sitting at about 500 meter strike length. Well, this hole added another 140 meters to that strike length. So you can see how we're trying to step out and build um, this panel, and, and the reason is it's the single most mineralized area of the Colmax sill. That's sort of your, your main pay dirt there. And uh, obviously, the larger we can show that it exists, uh, the more ounces it'll contain and the, the, the greater the likelihood that it'll, that it'll see production one day. So um, those are sort of the three main takeaways of, of our release today. And, and obviously, stay tuned because we've got a lot more holes to put out. Um, you know, we've, we've drilled, uh, uh, 20, just under 23,000 meters this year, about four, 47 holes. So we've got a bit of work yet to do, um, on that to get the, those results out. So, uh, you know, stay tuned. A lot, lot, lot of good news yet to come. Okay. As always, appreciate that update. That was Dr. Michael Byron, CEO, Nighthawk Gold, NHK on the TSX, MIMZF, OTCQX in the States. And we'll certainly look forward to checking back in when Nighthawk has some more news to report.